one team that's actually gotten their hopes alive despite the fact that they have always continued to win is the United States. Yes, the women's team. Now, um, Vladko Andonovsky. Yeah. That's the name was officially unveiled uh, as the U.S. women's national team's new head coach. The Macedonian-born 43-year-old takes the job following a successful stint in charge of the National Women's Soccer League team, Rain FC, where he was named the National Women's um, Soccer League Coach of the Year in 2019. At an official presentation in New York City, Andonovsky was introduced by U.S. Soccer President Carlos Cordero and the United States Women's National Team General Manager Kate uh, McGrath. He'll also be the first man since 2014 to coach the women's team. Five other men have taken up the mantle of the United States women's national team head coach since the team's formation in 1985. Any, we've seen someone who's done it. I mean, she's gone. Ellis is, has left. But hey, we have a new person taking charge. And uh, this is a case of living when the ovation is loud. Absolutely. She's done that absolutely on point. And now we have a new coach. Chances of him actually um, uh, leading. In, uh, properly this time. Big shoes to fill. Very big shoes to fill. Jill Ellis did a sterling job with, with the American national team. And when you win two successive World Cups, you at the level you've done, produce quality players and played football to the highest level possible. When the manager takes over that kind of job, he's got to keep the standard. It's, it's the minimum requirement. Keep the standard. You can't go to the next World Cup and not get to the final or not get to the semi-final. This big scrutiny will be on you. The, the spotlight will be on you. And it's a huge one for the Macedonian. And for the fact that he's a man, more questions will be asked. <laughs>